chronicling their heartbreak, pain, and strength. Tristan Bailey's parents are giving their first interview, sitting down with us to talk about losing their 13-year-old and pushing forward with her legacy. I think you just have to try to find the faith because I have questioned it every single day because I don't understand. And so I question God a lot. By her? The Bailey family plans to honor Tristan's memory and help our local community through a new foundation. News for Jack's reporter Vic Michelucci sat down with Bailey's mother and father this morning to talk about the case, how their family is doing, and what's next in remembering their beloved daughter. Sitting face to face with them, staring into their eyes, you can feel the pain. The Baileys have been through unimaginable anguish over the past 22 months. They say no one can imagine how horrible it is unless they've walked in their shoes. Despite it all, they are determined to make a difference, focusing on the good they can do in the community. Energetic, ready to go. There aren't enough words to describe her. Who was Tristan Bailey? Beautiful, kind, the sassiness always was there, but it was always in fun spirit. A vibrant teen who meant everything to her family. Her mother and father, Stacy and Forrest, say these happy memories bring light in the darkest of times. The smile and that laugh, her smile, her playfulness. Nearly two years later, Bailey's parents are opening up about everything they've been through now that her killer has been sentenced. We're struggling, to be honest. The process has been very challenging. Where would you be, Stacy, without all of this support? Not really sure. I, we've struggled with it every day. Like, it's hard to be in your house. It's hard to be. To know she's not there. Sometimes you want to leave. But if we left, we wouldn't have the safety of our neighborhood. The case against now 16-year-old Aiden Fucci has been difficult to watch as horrific testimony and graphic evidence took center stage. The family was relieved the teen pleaded guilty, avoiding trial, but they still had to hear about Tristan's final moments at last week's sentencing. Tristan really had very little interaction with Aiden. They had one class together in school, but didn't interact a lot in that class. Uh, but she did know Trey, and Aiden was trying to find somebody that night, and what we know is that there were several people he tried to reach out to before, and then he ultimately asked Trey for her contact information, and that's how, how he got a hold of her. To be clear, no other teens have been charged, even though investigators say Aiden outlined detailed plans to kill someone, plans that came true with Tristan. How do you feel about that other juvenile and Aiden's girlfriend at the time knowing that something was going to happen and ultimately not coming forward to potentially prevent that from happening? It's pretty bad, and I think that a lot of the kids say, I didn't think it was real. I thought they were joking. I'm pretty sure that's not something that's funny. I don't know how his girlfriend um, thought that it was a joke when he was doing those things to her. Tristan's parents believe if it wasn't their daughter, it'd be someone else's. There were so many warning signs that were definitely ignored in this situation. Adults ignored them, and kids ignored them. And my child might be here had they not. Despite it all, they believe there is more good than evil in the world, and they're determined to make a difference in Tristan's honor. It's what she would have wanted.
The Baileys have launched a foundation with many goals, including scholarships for those who make the community better, self-defense classes for teens to protect themselves, helping families be aware of present-day dangers, and community support for loved ones of crime victims. We have so much love and pride in what Tristan did while she was here, and we are very committed to taking that forward and, and truly honoring her spirit. We spoke about so many more things, like holding the family together, whether they will ever forgive the killer, and the warnings for families so this does not happen again. There's only one thing that they would not talk about today. That's the case against Aiden Fucci's mother, who's accused of washing the blood off of his clothes after the murder. That case is still open, and they don't want to interfere. Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.